Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. I hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, with Apprentice Illusion Magician being, or sorry, Nightmare Apprentice. Apprentice Illusion Magician is the old one. With Nightmare Apprentice being added to the game in Master, I finally decided, hey, let's give Chimera another run. So I did. Uh, Brandon's still dead. In Master Duel, so I rather I, I kind of just went with, hey, let's run one branded fusion, one Albaz, and then the entire branded extra deck because why not? I decided to go first and drew a uh, pretty decent hand actually. We're gonna use the effect of Apprentice, discarding Apprentice to summon itself from my hand. Activate the effect on summon to add an illusion from deck to hand, which is going to resolve adding corn with Kotal, no troll on Lockbird. Cordal effect, discarding to add one, adding Mirror Sword Knight. Activate the effect of Mirror Sword Knight after summoning it, tributing it for cost to special for my deck. Big Winged Bear from it will activate its effect to add from deck to hand Gaimel Fusion as well as Gazelle, King of Mythical Claws. Uh, activate Chimera Fusion, fusing off Bear from it and Gazelle into Chimera, the King of Phantom Beasts. In a new chain, we'll use the effect of Gazelle to add, effect of Chimera to discard one, and effect of Big Winged Bear from it to revive the Mirror Sword Knight. Then we can discard one card from their hand during the end phase, or send one card to the game specifically, not discard. Mirror Sword Knight to hand, off of the Gazelle, we'll banish Chimera, or we'll return Chimera Fusion to my hand, sorry. Then we will set four and pass, discarding from their hand. Foolish Burial Goods, probably a Tree Elements deck, and that is always a good one to hit in any case. That card never being able to resolve always leads to better things. What in the... This is not Tier Elements. This is not Tier Elements. But also, I just win. Even if I didn't have Artifact Scythe, I just win. Artifact Sanctum, bet. All right, go ahead. Sure. Good job. We'll summon Scythe, and he'll activate Numeron Wall. On a new chain, Scythe effect will trigger, making it so they can't summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. They will chain Sky Striker, Mecha Widow Anchor, which I will then chain Book of Moon towards. That way it'll flip it face down. I'm I'm trying to understand what the hell the Foolish Burial Goods is for. I don't imagine I, that I understand. He'll activate a second Numeron Wall because he can't use the effect because... Ha ha! Ha ha ha! You stupid bitch! Oh, uh, well, he has three spells engaged, so he gets to draw off engage. But, you know, that's an engine for some reason. We'll tribute you... What? What? We will quick effect the tribute Mirror Sword Knight to special Big Bang from my deck. But he will surrender. Ooh, thank goodness I am going first because this hand is not that good. Discard, Corp of Kotal to add from deck to hand. We will add from deck to hand. I should have. I, sh I should have just. No, I should have just Chimera Fusion. I shouldn't have done that. But it's okay because we have a call five. So we're going to get rid of that Ash Blossom Enjoy Spring and hopefully, hopefully not get Maxi. Please, no Maxi. I'm sick of it. But uh, I don't know if they're playing Maxi because if we look at Dero's name, his name is Fuck Maxi Cook. Actually, it's just fuck Max. Cook. So it could very well not be Maxi. We'll add Mirror Sword Knight, tributing to special Big Wing Bear from it. We'll activate its effect to add from deck to hand Gazelle and Chimera Fusion again. Yeah! Chimera Fusion effect to fuse off the two into Chimera, King of Phantom Beasts. Chain one Gazelle, chain two King of Phantom Beasts, chain three Big Wing Bear from it, targeting to revive Mirror Sword Knight. Wow! Add Nightmare Apprentice, discard one card from their hand. During the end phase, Chimera Fusion will add back to hand. We will set two and pass. I feel like we had a pretty okay one, but uh, I miss I misremember what card this was. Yeah, no, Karma is just first of all arts super cool. I wish we had more cards that were playable in modern Yu-Gi-Oh that look like this. They can drop our turn, and it turns out they're playing Cyber Dragon. They could very well have Clockwork Knight here, so we are gonna say fuck you tribute effect. I should have done a drop phase tribute to special summon. Pigmin Burpermit, adding from deck to hand, Gazelle, and Chimera Fusion 3. Not a shiny one this time, sadly. We will then activate Chimera Fusion using the 3 in my hand, so that way I can pop the 1 and draw a 2. So effect, draw 2, pop 1, and Gazelle to add, Pigmin Burpermit targeting to revive Nightmare Apprentice, who will also add an illusion monster from deck to hand, who is going to add Master Tau. So summon! Effect to add. Oh, we added Master Tau off of him. Never mind. Uh, and then pop and draw. Now we're going to activate in a new chain, I'm Apprentice, and chain to Maxi. Yay! We did it. I think we won. I think I think we I think we did the thing. Corp of the Hand is going to give me the goodness. He's going to summon out Karmat, uh, effect of, I don't remember your name, Gizmek Naganaki, 
to special one from the deck is going to tribute for cost. We're going to activate the effect of Mirror Sword Knight Banishing to Negate because it activated on the field, and I don't want you to have that to resolve. Kind of upsets me that Mirror Sword Knight's a UR. I feel like it shouldn't be. I don't feel like most of the guys in this deck should be UR, but it's okay. Chimera Fusion Effect to fuse three off, being two boys and a Chimera into Chimera the Illusion Beast. That way he cannot attack the game. Master to the channel will activate the effect of having an apprentice once again just to get another uh, illusion on the field that he can't attack over. And we're in a good position. Awkward night. Thank fuck. Thank fuck I did what I did earlier. Okay, attack over it. Effect the status attack to zero and negate its effects. Thank you! And phase will activate the effect of banishing to summon up from the graveyard of Master Tal, the channeler. Now, why are we doing this exactly? I have no fucking idea. I don't have the slightest clue. I really don't. But that was game. And we could just attack for game with Chimera twice. This still takes seven turns. Now that you see this opening hand, you'll see why. I'll set Book of Moon and pass turn. That's it. You could argue I might have, I probably should have set a Chimera Fusion as well to make them think I had more, but no. Future Silence is going to add Gadget Trio to the hand. They're going to add Normal Summon and activate the effect of Gadget Trio, which I will affect Baylor because no. Can, like, I want to, I want to go and make an actual video about this about the archetypes that Konami makes with secondary archetypes for things. But like, Shining Sarcophagus is one of the biggest... Design-wise, I love the design of this archetype. Playstyle-wise and playability-wise, it is one of the worst archetypes ever printed. Sincerely, genuinely, and truly, this archetype is fucking horrible. I got a lot of thoughts about Shining Sarcophagus. I'm gonna Veil of the Gadget Trio, and I'm just gonna go on with it. I wanna make a video talking about like weaker archetypes and why Konami designs them this way, and why I think it's bullshit that they designed it that way, because it makes no sense. They're gonna attack for 13, they're gonna pass turns. So clearly they've got nothing else in hand, but probably just hand traps. Draw for turn, masters on the channel, and that's, that's not helpful. We'll activate Lightning Storm with the no face of cards to join the back row, popping the Solemn Judgment. We will set the master to the channeler and go on our way. Drop a standby main, yay! Prosperity! Fuck! I'm still very good! Future Silence! Attack Thrust! Ash Blossom! Marshmallow on. Gadget. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take the gadget here so that way we can normal summon it and they went Future Silence instead placing it on the bottom of the deck and then activating Future Silence to add the gadget from deck to hand. I'm not sure why you did this, but okay. They're going to normal summon Gadget Trio and add Shining Sarcophagus. Sure. Shining Sarcophagus effect. To add from deck to hand, ties that bind. Okay. They're gonna link summon into Ivy Mask, which they can no longer ties that bind. But they have a they, they have a Kleecha. Will activate its effect to add from deck to hand punishment. Alright. Battle phase. Good job. Cannot be destroyed by battle. It's an illusion monster. Thank you. Appreciate it. Drop return! Oh, that's a good one! Effect discarding. Probably shouldn't have done this, but they have an Ashen Fucked. They have a Marshmallow on. We're not fucked. And effect of IP. You did it in the wrong order. Should have been IP and then Marshmallow on. Because now, I'm in a Book of Moon. Your dude man. And now you don't get the Marshmallow on the... You get the Marshmallow on the field, but you won't get to go into SP. It's a nice IP effect. Marshmallow on the field is going to add Mirror Sword Knight from deck to hand. We're going to normal summon Mirror Sword Knight, declare effect attributing for cost to add our special summon Big Wing Burp Mate, who's going to activate its effect to special summon 2. It's going to get Valor, but we've got Chimera Fusion. Let's activate it in the leftmost column to avoid a possible imperm. It was a dogmatic of punishment targeting for cost, so we are going to activate a second Chimera Fusion now. Yeah. Nice try, fucko. I am the man. The man of fusioning. We're going to fusion summon 2. Birth of it, the mythical king of phantom beasts. Okay, this is okay. Resolves adding gazelle and a third chimera fusion from deck to hand. Not shiny again. And a new chain, birth from it, chain one. Chain two, big wing birth from it, targeting to revive mirror sword knight. Chain three, master tau, targeting to revive the cornfield codal. Weird stuff. Tau is a really weird artwork, but I think he's a frog. And I like that, that he's a frog. And if he's not a frog, I don't care, because thinking he's a frog makes me happier. I special the monster from the graveyard so we can activate the effect of Shining Sarcophagus to do stuff. However, he knows I had a Chimera Fusion, so we're going to activate Chimera Fusion. Fusion Summoning. We did it. Yay. Chimera the Illusion Beast. Cool, Shining Sarcophagus. Good job. 
We have to attack into the Marshmallow once, because while you control Shining Sarcophagus, I cannot attack. I cannot target monsters for attack, except for this one. Also, it can't be destroyed by battle. So Chimera is going to attack into it, negate the effects of this monster, and now we can punch the fuck out of the IP, negating its effects setting it to zero, and attack again. Main phase will activate the effect of Chimera Fusion, banishing to add it, or setting itself back to my hand, not banishing. Always forget that. And then we'll pass turn, because I can't fusion anything at the moment. There's no point in even trying to. I don't have a way to do so. I only played one Burp Mint, and I used it. But you know. Oh, never mind. There's a second Burp Mint. Why did I set the Chimera Fusion? What the hell was I doing? Nadir Servant. All right. Shining Sarcophagus effect to add. Okay, Gadget Trio. Are you stupid? If you just went Gandora, you blow up my whole field of wind. Okay. Normal Summon effect to add Future Silence, I'm assuming. Future Silence to hand. Wow. Wee. Activate effect to add. They're going to add Marshmallow on again. Not Gandora. Not Dark Magician, but that one. Sure. Floor de Lee. Oh, shit. Doesn't target, just negates. Okay. That's fine with me. Bye bye, Chimera. You were fun while you lasted. Uh. Is it till the end of the turn? It is till the end of the turn. I was wondering why it didn't show up, but it's because Master did that. And they have nothing from here. Well, I can just attack her game. So they set and pass. Chimera is a fun deck. It's a silly deck and it's a bit too simplistic for my style. I know that there is a pretty, there's a pretty decently high skill ceiling on it, but I'm not a big fan of fusion summoning in general. I love synchro summoning. Synchro summoning is my whole like, ooh, I like it. I don't know if it's because the cards are just like shiny or pretty. I like the contrast in colors with like the bright white and a lot of dark and red and just vibrant artworks or something. And I think a contrast. Well, I don't know what it is, but when I see a synchro monster, I go, ooh, brain likey. So that's something. But uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and hope you all enjoyed. Hope you've all had a wonderful day. And if you haven't, there's always the rest of your day. There's always tomorrow, the day after that, so on and so forth. Things don't get better unless you let them. So give yourself time and things will improve. I promise. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Bye-bye.